dress up like that today. <sighs> Which one is speaking to me more? You perhaps. <laughs> Maybe we will do that today. Ah, hello there. Please, please. Come closer. Step into the mouth wagon. Wait. I recognize you, don't I? Yes, I believe that we have met before, but not in this place. I recognize your face from a different place, don't I? Hmm. Now, uh, refresh my memory. Where was it again that we met before? Ah! Peddler's Alley. That is right. Right outside the shining city of Ivendell, yes. Yes. So the last time I was there, I believe I was still selling potions, yes? Ah, well. While the mall might see quite a lot of value in those potions, unfortunately the people of Ivendell were not ready for them yet. So, the mall has moved on. I, I, I still have some of those potions here, of course. I still definitely see the value in them. But I have moved on to selling something a little more understood, appreciated, like the mall said before. Yes, yes, yes. This is something that has been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years, is used by many cultures all over the world. It is a very, very valuable tool in many, many things. I am speaking of incense. Mm -hmm. You see, incense is a very, very interesting substance. It is made from the masala plant, which is ground into a very, very fine powder and then packed tightly together so it makes one sort of shape. Now it can be in the shape of a cone like this. This is how most of my material is sold in, in little cones like this. It can however come in a little stick like this where this part is just wooden and then the incense coats the stick here. We light it from here and it slowly burns down. Or there is a few unique kinds that actually come in different shapes. Like this one, this little spiral. You see this you use in a very special burner. It comes like this. And it has this little metal stand. So you place the spiral right there. And it just sort of latches onto there and you light the end of it and then it slowly burns all the way around the spiral into the center. Mm -hmm. That one is quite fun. I do have some of these for sale. However, they do really only come in one set. See, the thing is, different kinds of incense, different scents that have been mixed with the masala plant can do different things. Many kinds of incense are used for purification, are used to cleanse both a space and also the spirit. But there are also that encourage relaxation, encourage healing of one's spirit, and then there are others that attract positivity, even attract love. Yes, 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 like this one, this one. This one is rose incense. This little cone right here. Now with these, all you have to do is light the tip of it. And you, you hold the flame there for just a few seconds so that it can ignite. And then it will slowly burn all the way down. And rose, in particular, is said to attract love. Love both 
from other people and also encourage self-love. Self-love is very, very important. Many people seem to, unfortunately, not practice self-love very well. But burning rose incense can attract that. It can also attract desire. It can also help to increase your energy as you go about the day and bring about the sense of happiness. It is, of course, a very floral scent and one that is just very light. Why don't you give that just a little smell? Yes, it is very light and energetic of a scent. Very rejuvenating, if you ask me. This is a very, very nice one. One that not everyone considers, but it is very, very good at attracting things like love and happiness and desire. Yes. Or there is this one. This incense, this one is called patchouli incense. See, this uses the patchouli plant. Now, patchouli is, it's part of the dead nettle family of plants. It has these lovely little white pink flowers on it. And the patchouli plant is said to attract prosperity, wealth, it is very often used when someone would like to cast a money or prosperity spell. Yes, it can be very, very useful. It is quite an earthy scent, a bit, a bit on the strongish side, but I tend to like it. I like the stronger ones when I am in the right mood, of course. Now, this one also can help to... Uh, drive out unwanted insects. So if you are, you know, somewhere where there may be many uh, desert hornets, you can light one of these and they do not very much like the scent. Or in your kingdom, I believe there are things called mosquitoes. Yes, yes, that is those little blood-sucking, awful vampiric things. These, when you light this, well, drive away those mosquitoes and keep you safe for quite, quite a read is actually. It is earthy and not quite minty, but almost, almost sort of a minty smell. Why don't you give that a little smell? It's a very interesting, yes. It is a nice, warm, earthy, earthy scent. And like I said, this one can be quite strong when it is burnt so that it will drive away those unwanted pests. In fact, many people who travel this way, who, who come to ebb and watch and then continue going south through the Sahara Pass, they will buy some patchouli incense from me. And then when they go to sleep during the day, they will light one of these and it will keep away the desert hornets from their camp. Very, very useful. Very useful patchouli incense. So there, there are those kinds of incense that you can use to attract or, or drive away unwanted things. But there are also many different kinds that can help to cleanse or soothe. This one is very powerful and also is sort of multi-purpose. It's sort of known as the the all-purpose incense. So if you have never purchased incense before, this is a good one to start with. This is one that I often have people purchase their first time, both because it can do so many things, but also because it is a very, a very pleasant scent. It's a bit less strong than something like the patchouli, but it is still very, very useful. This is called sandal. And sandalwood incense has been used for centuries, for many, many generations, to help cleanse, to purify, and to heal all of those things it can do. 
it has a very warm, sort of comforting, woody scent to it. Yes, and then, like I said, it is a little more subtle than something like patchouli. It also can help to empower benevolent magic. So if you are going to do any sort of spell work or something like that, you can burn a sandalwood and it will just help to enhance the magic. Yes, it can bring about wishes and, and success in the ways of magic. Yes. Mm, it's just a very lovely, soothing, lifting almost smell. It just seems to lift the melancholy away as you smell it here. Give that a little smell there. Yes, yeah, see, it's just very, very pleasant. Sandalwood has also been known to help heal anxiety, to soothe irritability, and promote a feeling of openness. See, when you are feeling healed and safe and cleansed, then you are more able to be open with other people. Yes, it is is very important. Anyway, so sandalwood is a very, very good incense to start with. Yes. Now, if you would like something that is also a cleanser, but perhaps just a bit, a bit stronger, a bit more intense, you could also go with this one. This is made from white sage. Now, sage in many different forms is an excellent cleanser. You may see someone using a smudge stick of, of dried sage leaves and burning that, and that is wonderful at cleansing as well. So when you burn a sage incense, it is excellent for purifying and cleansing a space, eliminating any sort of negative energies, any kind of curses or burdens that may be placed upon you. Yes, it is very, very powerful. It is wonderful also to heal. And it can help to encourage spirituality. So this can also be a good one to burn when you are beginning to meditate or something like that. It's very, very useful as well. This is another very, very common one. Yeah. Now this one also is an earthy scent, but it's a little more, a little stronger. Yes, why don't you give that a little smell? <laughs> See, definitely stronger. That, that almost sharpness from the, the leafy sort of greenish scent there, yes. Not everyone likes the smell of sage, and that is okay. That is okay. Now, sometimes when you do not like a scent, that means that that is the one that your soul needs, because it is... sometimes we fight what we really need. But there is no need to force things. It is okay. If you do not like the scent of sage, there are many others that we can try as well. Yes. You know, that is a good point to make about incense or about many other things in, in the realm of spirituality. It is excellent to know what types of things work for different, different things. Like all of these different incenses do something different. But it is also very important to follow one's own intuition, one's own heart. Sometimes you may go to light an incense and you may think that you need a specific thing. But then as you are going through your incense, one of the smells speaks to you. And that is the one that you suddenly wish to burn. That is the one you should burn. Even if perhaps you are looking for cleansing and it is a rose that smells good, which is not specifically used for cleansing, if that is the one that your intuition is telling you to burn, then that is the one that you should burn. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Basically, do not get hung up on the specifics. 
If your heart, if your spirit is telling you something, that you listen to that. You ignore old Tamal if Tamal is not making sense. And you listen to yourself, yes. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. Anyway, but sage is a very, a very good cleanser. And good, like I said, for purifying and can also be used in, in healing as well. So that is another one that has quite a few different uses, yes. Now, if you're looking for another one that is used in many different ways, this is another one that you might want to consider. This is called Palo Santo Incense. Now, the Palo Santo tree is very sacred to many different cultures. It is especially used for cleansing. Yes, for, for purification and things like that as well. It can help to rid evil spirits either from a person or from a place or something like that. But it can also help with inspiring creativity or invoking inspiration. So perhaps you have been feeling burdened, you have been feeling weighed down by something. This can help to take that weight off of you and then perhaps free your spirit to access its creativity once more. Yes, this is a lovely one. Here, let me open this for you. You can get a little scent of this one as well. There. Yes, this one is, it's similar to the sandalwood, but maybe a little more sweet, almost. Yeah, it is quite nice. Still that nice warm, woody sort of, sort of scent, but just a little sweeter, a little different. This one is very, very soothing as well. It can also be used to help heal anxiety and relieve stress and things like that as well. Palo Santo is very, very powerful. This is probably one of my most popular that I sell. Yes. Palo Santo incense is an excellent, excellent tool for many different things. Yes. Let's see what else, what else. Ah, now this one. Something entirely different, but also very, very useful very powerful. This is lavender incense. Not too many people mix lavender with the masala to make the incense. Lavender is used in many different things, but it can make a very, very potent, very useful incense as well. You see, lavender is used to invoke peace a sense of calm in oneself. It can also be used to purify and as a tool to help in meditation. It can help relieve stress, relieve burdens and open us up more to both the world around us and more to our inner selves, to be able to really listen. And this is also a scent that many people find very relaxing and helping them sleep. So, in fact, if I have a night where I am having trouble sleeping, I will light one of these near my head. And the very pleasant aroma will help lull me to sleep a bit. Yes, this one is very, very useful. Mm -hmm. This is a floral scent, similar to the rose, of course. This one is a bit stronger. Not quite as sweet, but still very, very, very pleasant. Give that a little sniff. Yes, yeah, it's very nice, isn't it? Just very soothing. Even just smelling the little cone, even before we light it, it can help to soothe you. Yes, it can also bring about a sense of balance or emotional well-being as well. It can help to relieve that stress. Yes, and the gentleness of lavender can also help to bring about compassion in a person. Yes, 
yes. Quite a useful, quite a useful, lovely little scent. A beautiful incense, to be sure. Let's see, what else? What else shall I show you today? Ah, how could I have not done this one yet? This is very, very different, to be sure. This one is a very, very powerful, unique scent called Dragon's Blood Incense. Now, it is not actually made from the blood of dragons. That is a very common misconception, especially in this land. There are quite a few dragons, so it is possible. But no, this is not made from dragon's blood. It is actually made from the sap of a tree called the Dracaenae tree. And the Dracaenae tree has a very, very bright red sap. Mm -hmm. And it almost has a bit of a spicy scent to it. That is why it is called the Dracaenae tree. Oftentimes, sap in a tree is more amber in color. But this one it is a bright red, very unique. And said to be very, very powerful. Shamans and mystics around the world use the scent of dragon's blood to help enhance the potency of magic, of, of magical spells, of rituals, of things like that. Yes, it is. It is very powerful and can help to increase your power, your sense of will, your sense of self-confidence. Yes, it is very, 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 very powerful in that sense. It also is known as a powerhouse against things like negativity. Yes. Now this one, it is a rather deep smell. There are many, many layers to it. A little musky, but a good kind of musky. A little bit woody. Also a bit of spicy and even a bit of sweet to it as well. It is a very, very in-depth scent. Yes, you see. This is one that even just smelling it to me is very inspiring, I suppose you could say. Yes. Very inspiring, very empowering. Yes. Interesting. Dragon's blood. Mm -hmm. Now, are there any of these that you would perhaps like to test? Yes, I, I am more than happy to give you a bit of a free sample, I suppose. We could light one of these cones to see how the smoke smells to you. Yes. I would not suggest lighting all of them at the same time. That would be many, 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 many scents. That would be probably a bit overwhelming. But if there is one in particular that you would like to smell and, and experience for yourself before a purchase, I am more than happy to let you the dragon's blood. Excellent choice. This is one of my personal favorites. Not that there is anything wrong with the ones that that cleanse or that attract different things, but there is something very unique about the power of dragon's blood. Yes. It is one that I very much enjoy. Yeah. I will use my little incense burner here. Just a little lid here, with the little holes in it so the smoke can escape. And I'll simply put this in the center there. And I will get a candle and we will light it. Now, like I said, when you light incense, you may need to hold the flame on the tip of the cone for just a moment. Just to make sure. There we are. That it ignites, just like you must make sure that your match ignites. There we go. Just hold that there for a moment so you can make sure that it catches. Excellent. 
and then the flame will die out in just a moment and we will be left with the beautiful wafting smoke. You can see how it dances to very, very lovely, lovely image as well. It is lovely, is it not? Watching the smoke. Now this is not a, a heavy, a dense smoke that feels like something is burning that should not be burning. <laughs> this is a very light, wafting white smoke, as you can see. A smoke that is relaxing, interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. In fact, you can also sort of use your hand to move the smoke around a bit. There. You can also use a feather or perhaps a large leaf or something like that as well. The way of the smoke where you want it to go. You smell the power of that dragon's blood. Yes, it is a very empowering scent. Like I said, it helps to enhance magical abilities, increase your power. It can also be used for healing as well, especially healing the spirit of things like doubt and worry. can encourage you to listen to that inner self that we were speaking of. Follow and trust your instincts. Trust that you are being led by your inner power. Very powerful scent. Here, we can set that on. We can let that continue to burn. Quite lovely, isn't it? Now, did any of those in particular speak to you, traveler? Ah, that is a wonderful choice. I think that you will find that most useful on your travels. Yes, please, please go ahead and take that. Ah, yes, 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 of course, of course. Now, this is... Uh, not your first time visiting the mall, so the mall will give you a very, very good deal, don't you worry. Now that, that contains about ten cones worth of incense. So you will be able to burn the incense on quite a, diff a few different occasions. Now since you are a returning friend, the mall will only charge you two gold. How does that sound, traveler? Excellent, excellent. Thank you ever so much, traveler. Yes. I thank you for your purchase. I hope that you will enjoy that incense. I really think that you will. I think that that was a very wise choice for you. Well, thank you for visiting the mall once more in my home this time of Ebenwash. Who knows, maybe fate will see fit for us to cross paths again. But if not, I wish you well, traveler, in whatever it is that fate may have in store for you. I wish you 